Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm here at the Del Rey Beach House and I'm gonna try and get the bed made and uh, put my styrofoam, or not my styrofoam, my memory foam uh, topper on here, my fitted sheet and get everything ready uh, to camp tonight. A uh, little update is, um, I told you I'm here in Del Rey at the, uh, at the Del Rey house, the big house, uh, the in-laws. And yesterday I was gonna camp but we had a little bit of a problem. I got the booster shot done two days ago and it hit me and threw me down. I was very, very ill yesterday. Chills, uh, fever, uh, body aches and pains, just felt miserable. And I woke up this morning brand new. So it wasn't, it isn't anything that I have because I'm brand new today. It was obviously that booster shot I got by Pfizer and that's the original shots that I got too for the, for the first vaccine, but it kicked my ass. <laughs> so I, I wasn't in any mood to go camping yesterday. And besides, it was the first time uh, getting back over here in a while and seeing the granddaughters. Hey guys, Sarasota Tim. I'm gonna hook up my uh, solar panel for the first time in ever. I normally just charge when I drive on these long trips and I don't even have time to use it. I paid uh, almost $300 for that uh jackery uh solar saga 100 watt and then i've got the battery hidden back there behind it i haven't plugged it in yet i'm at 59 percent right now and the reason i'm doing this i have discovered uh i knew it when you use this inverter in the back of the forerunner you know the 110 plug let me show you this thing right here That only works when you're uh, parked and the engine's on or running in uh, park or neutral. You turn this little switch on that the Forerunner has right here. It says 400 watts and 100 watts. So I don't know why it has two wattages. Someone had told me that when you do drive, it does work and it puts out 100 watts, but not 400 when you're parked. Uh, for the, or maybe that's what it puts out when you're, uh, you know, you have it on, but the engine's not running for the alternator or something, but it does not work. I turned it on. I had Tammy get in here and put her foot on the brake, put it in drive. And I went over and looked at the Jackery, which was putting out 142 Watts when it was uh, in park and it went to zero. It turned, it turned off. So that thing does not work. You cannot use this outlet for anything. Can't use it. So I got to go back to putting it in the, uh, the 12 volt here. Well, actually I already have it in the console between the seats. This is just another 12 volt back here. And uh, so I have it, I put the Jackery right here and there's the wire. And I'll, I'll just run, that comes from the cigarette lighter in the console over here to the Jackery. And then I have the cigarette lighter plug for this into the Jackery. Because when you're driving, it doesn't matter if you want to use this or anything else in that 110 outlet, it doesn't work. That was really disappointing. I was hoping to get a quicker charge. That's why this is plugged in. This is the Jackery 110 plug. And the whole way over here, it didn't, it didn't charge at all from uh, Sarasota. All right, so check it out. I've got the uh, Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel charging my Jackery. And I'm right in the hot South Florida sun. Let's see what kind of wattage we're getting. Are we getting close to 100 watts? 77 watts. It's at 59% and it's putting out one watt for whatever reason. 78. Let's see if it changes if I tilt the, uh, tilt this. Seventy five. They say it's hard to get a hundred. I've seen it register a hundred, but I'll take that free charge, free energy. I don't need a 110 outlet. I can get enough charge in that in about three or four hours to, to do me. I think it takes only eight hours to go a full charge. And I'm at 59% right now, so I'm good. 
All right, guys. Got it all cleared out. I got two layers. Very comfy. A little wide here. Awesome. Here's my sheet somewhere down here. Trusty fitted sheet. Oh yeah. Gonna be good. Now the pillow and the comforter here. My granddaughter's gonna come want to play in here, I'm sure of it. She's come back from the gym class. All right, guys, sorry for that long delay. I'm going to edit that part out. My granddaughter loves riding in the Roadrunner. So she wants to push every single button there is. And you have to keep an eye on her because she doesn't miss a thing. And ah, don't touch that one. That's what I don't want her touching. She'll break them stalks right off. But she, she has her own little Mercedes electric car. And it has some buttons on it. And she just likes, look, she just twists. She'll mess with the vents. There isn't anything she doesn't find to play with. She is something. I tried to keep her in the back here where I made a nice bed until I could watch her, but she wouldn't have anything to do with that. She had to get up here. That's Savannah. Yeah. You like Pop's truck? Pop. <laughs> she knows that you're filming. I know. She knows I'm videoing her, so she won't look. But she's a driver. Let's go um, keep an eye on her, Grandma, on those stalks. Oh, this thing feels like it's moving. No, it isn't. It can't move. It can't move. So I'm going to check on the uh, wattage output on the... Uh... Ooh, 86 watts, guys. 86. For a second there. Oh, and what's my... Uh, was it 59%? Look, I'm at 60%. And it's been, I've been timing it, uh, 18 minutes. And I got 1% more. Hey, see? You push it through, you're, you're pushing it through the dang plastic. You're pushing so hard. You're going to have to get out. <laughs> she, oh. Look at her. She can move. You're lucky this is a forerunner can take roughnecks like you. And she was pushing this thing so hard, she was pushing right through the plastic. Yesterday, she's got these little uh, tools that she got for Christmas with a hammer and pliers, like a little construction. Hey, quit trying to break stuff. She knows what, I, she knows what I'm saying. And she takes her little plastic hammer, and what does she do? The first thing she does is start beating on the GPS screen. She moves things too hard. Oh, you're getting out. I'm, I'm done with you. This is your last visit in the Forerunner. Get out. <laughs> All right, I'm turning this off. I'm going to get you out of here. Okay, we got rid of my granddaughter and took her in the house. She was, she got her knees and put them right down on the uh, solar panel. They almost broke it in half. Tore up almost everything in my Forerunner, every button, twisted them, stripped them. <sighs> you got to love her, though. Terrible twos. Well, guys, what do you think about this nice, I'm a perfectionist. Let me get this little wrinkle out there i got double 
foam pad and a mattress. I'll just stack some things over here. I've got my USB uh, Opal or fans that I'll uh, either set one on top of the cooler or on the uh, uh, hand grip. Let me take now. So right now I have the ignition on accessory and the uh, refrigerator is, is going. Let me check my uh, food in there and see what the temperature is. I had it set at 36 degrees. Mmm, yeah, that uh, cranberry's cold. My eggs are cold. Steaks, steaks fine. I'm good. I got some waters down there. All right. So I got my uh, beach umbrella I'm going to put out right. It's over there with the um, camp chair, which is in the uh, top up here. Check it out, you guys. I had 100% charging on the uh, solar panels maybe when my granddaughter sat down on it made it work better i don't know but look 100 there it is on video 100 watts and steady up from 59 percent to 62 percent see 101 wow i'll tell you it's bacon right here this south florida sun here in delray beach florida so I was going to go ahead, I found my uh, painter's tape, masking tape, and uh, I was going to go ahead and put my privacy um, reflectics in these windows uh, because you can drive with them on the side, it doesn't affect anything much, and go ahead and get that prepared. Do what I can right now. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get that done. All right, guys, here's my setup. Let me show you what I got. This is the ultimate setup for a 4Runner. The, uh, the Jackery is going to go on the floorboard, but it's charging uh, with my uh, Solar Saga 100-watt panels. So that won't even be seen here. And this is really not even necessary in this temperature I'm in. So I have this extra room here. This bed is by far the most comfortable bed you could possibly lay on. Uh, it's got two memory foams and a tri-fold uh, memory foam futon mattress it folds up into squares like about that big all right there's my pillow then look at here the old polar fans that run two days without needing a charge on low there's another one right there this one i just leave on top and i can point it down on me or i can i can put it anywhere i can even uh hang it up on the uh, armrest of uh, the uh the arm the hand grab her up on top of the passenger front door there and have it blow back. And this one right here blows right on me. I got my privacy uh, windows put up with the um, Reflectix. Now all this tape you see is because every time I do it, I stick on, not, not on the uh, fabric here, but on this here. So when I take it off, it, it really wants to stick to this hard. So those are all the ones when I was in uh, Utah of uh, each night this is really nice now I don't have any reflectix on the front uh, driver and passenger door that's because I have my front uh, reflectix here for the uh, the regular sunshade that's private enough I mean I think the only thing that I've seen people do is a spray paint black uh, this because during the during the day let's say you're you're trying to be uh, stealthy uh, in a neighborhood or something in camping, you know, you could see that and you would think, oh, somebody's back there. So I might do that one day. And then I added my, um, uh, this can usually just sit right on top of the bed, but I'm going to rope it down right now. I don't think it's going to go anywhere with my, with my clove hitch and a half ultimate trucker's hitch knot. And I've learned this is wax. I never knew I had. We can't have that. We got to get that off. That's been on there forever. All right, so uh, there's the setup. And I'm going to, I've got the refrigerator charging on my battery right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put the Jackery back in because it's good for a few days. And then when I get over to where I'm going to be camping, I can put it back out in the sun. So what a setup, huh? For a single person, this is it. And the platform that I'm using, I started out with these one, two, three um, boards there. 
And it was off of a YouTube video I saw where a guy had it up on, you know, stilts about that high, and he had storage underneath. But <laughs> the Dometic, you know, just to cover that, look, your nose would be in the headliner. So that was a no-go. After I put that all together, bought everything, I took it all apart, took it down, took the legs off. But I did keep the leveling platform um, to put the bed in there so the Dometic and the bed lays flat. I, it doesn't come all the way across here. So that's because of the original build was for something else. So maybe one day, but these are carpeted and fine and it's level for the bed. I don't really need it. I can I can even just put down a, a separate little piece I could have cut out just for that. I don't need to go change the whole thing out. And then, um, like I say, I'll be putting the uh, plenty of room right there for my Jackery. And these things are awesome. You can rotate them in any orientation you want. They literally blow for two days without shutting off. And you can connect them to, to these right here, like I have that one. And uh, it's very nice. And like I say, if it's really hot like it is right now at night in the summer, I can just run and idle my engine with the air conditioning on low. All night long, it burns a half to one gallon an hour. Uh, not even a whole gallon, I don't think. And so that's nothing. And that's Tucker. There's a there's another one around here. His name is Duke. They got two of them. They're twins. He just got his hair cut. Hi, Tucker. So anyway, guys, that's the uh, the tour of the uh, Red Road Runner with the setup and the Dometic. Thousand dollar refrigerator, thousand dollar battery with the uh, three hundred dollar solar panel. Tucker's checking it out. I was pulling a hundred watts. Let's see if I'm still getting it and what we're up to. Let's take a look. It's a one thousand, the Jackery one thousand. I'm up to sixty four percent from fifty nine, and seventy six watts. So it's not a it's not a quick charge by any shakes, but it's free from the old sun there. They do say it takes like eight hours. But you only lose one degree an hour if you don't open the fridge. So, and I, and I have a setting on there that's on a, a Bluetooth setting with my phone that if I had it, you know, on the uh, DC and left it on accessory for the battery, it would um, not. It would shut off before it would run my car battery down. But I don't use my car battery for it at all, except for right now, I'm just sitting here playing around. But I normally just use the Jackery, which can run it for three, four, five days. So no big deal. But it's nice to know you can charge your phone, you can charge the Jackery back up with the sun. You can, you can use the solar panel on the refrigerator too. You can just, Put the solar panel out here and uh, and just run the refrigerator. So you can do anything you want. I wanted to put up my canvas out here with these two elephant ear poles I bought that are expandable telescopic poles to make myself a little awning uh, from the uh, side of the Forerunner or just out next to the Forerunner with my um, camp chair. But it's all inside the... Uh, the totes up on top and I didn't want to dig everything out and I don't want to forget while well, I'm thinking of it to put a rope right now over that cooler and that uh, uh, stand that I use there to get up on top of the truck so thanks for viewing guys